Oh, hi, Ellie. Today is a weird first for me. I got up, got ready for the day, and then found that I still had a bunch of time before I needed to go. I'm not actually sure what to do with the time now. But since you're here, we can talk briefly if you want. It would help me clear up my mind about a few things. Hopefully you don't mind. What did you want to talk about? Hmm. Well, you know, let's talk about that thing we just witnessed. Oh, yeah. I noticed that the game was kind of taking you through that. That was a pretty rough day. And no one really gets through that realization completely unscathed, you know. She was angry for a really long time. I worry that she never really recovered completely from it. You know? Yeah, it's that, that, basically. It's hard to tell with her. She's so good at hiding her feelings. Although I guess she doesn't hide them exactly. It's more like she throws you off with all her bluster. She comes on so strong with her whole Natsuki thing that anything she actually feels gets lost in it. Like not being able to see a burning match because it's behind a huge fire. Something like that. Still though, there are moments when you can see it. Sometimes she seems really sad or upset for no reason. Like she would just zone out and clearly be in a lot of pain. I hope we can help her feel better. Well, now let's talk about her sister. Yeah, that's hard. But then, the mod you made deals with some pretty heavy topics too, doesn't it? The mod I made? I'm a big fan of Take-Two, by the way. Thanks for making it. Oh, gosh. Did you actually... Did you actually put this little bit in? If the username is Hallie. Wait, I'm not supposed to know all that real-life stuff about you. Um, just forget I said anything. Why is he Hallie? Just pretend that's because that's the name you answered, not because I know you from the mods you put me in. So, yeah, Fuyuki hasn't been doing well. Natsuki keeps insisting that maybe she could pull through, but no one else thinks so. Even Fuyuki has been doing things like writing her will and stuff. Natsuki has been taking it really hard. I guess that's why it's been so hard to see if she still feels bad about the reality thing like we talked about. We don't really know what to do. It's not like there's anything you can do or say to make someone feel better in a situation like this. We're just trying to be supportive, you know? But at the same time, we need to give her her space. She probably wouldn't appreciate it if we just smothered her. I'm hoping things somehow work out alright. But I'm expecting that Natsuki will have to deal with life without her sister. It'll be hard to help her through that. But in a way, if I can be an awful person for a second, It'll be nice because I'll be able to focus on someone else's problem. I know that makes me a little terrible, but things like this really help me feel better. Still, if I could just wish that Fuyuki got instantly better, I would. Not that he doesn't deserve to have that happen to her. And neither does Fuyuki. She's a really good person. Alright, nah, oh, we'll talk about you and Monica then. <laughs> yeah, there is that little situation, isn't there? I think I understand a little better why I lashed out at her. It's like MC keeps telling me. I never really dealt with how I felt about what Monica did to me. I just kind of buried it to avoid hurting Monica's feelings. Because to me, I wasn't worth anything, so why should my pain and anger be worth any inconvenience to Monica? But now that I'm starting to feel at least a little good about myself, all of it is coming back. And it came back pretty strong all at once. And I did not deal with the feelings well. Fortunately, Monica's pretty strong, so I think she's okay. Although I definitely hurt her feelings. But we've been working together on stuff since then. Remember how I said that we were trying to be supportive about Natsuki's sister? Me and Monica have been talking to everyone about things to do for that and how we should act. So that's brought us together a little. And it's been really nice being able to talk to Monica kind of normally. Still, things are a little awkward between us. We're going to need to have a long talk about what I said and did, probably. Not looking forward to that. And I've thought of all the things I'll need to say, depending on how she feels. But there's probably no way around us having a long, exhausting, drawn-out conversation. One that I'll probably feel really drained and depressed after. Hopefully we can go back to being really good friends afterward, though. Running out of topics. Uh, I guess, yeah, we'll get a UNMC. My favorite topic! 
They've been really good. He's been a little shy about um, certain things. But you probably don't care about that. And things are going super well overall. He's so gentle and kind. Like, you know that awful Monica conversation I'm going to have to have that I was talking about, right? Yeah, just like a second ago. I don't dread it as much because I know MC will be there for me. And he'll be alright with it no matter how I feel. Plus, he is really kind with people other than me. He's been really helpful to Natsuki while she's had this hard time. He's even really helped Fuyuki. Apparently, they've talked a couple of times. And Fuyuki mentioned to Natsuki later that MC was a really smart, strong boy. Which kind of surprised Natsuki. But it didn't surprise me. Because I know what he's like with me. He really lets me be who I really am. And it's okay with him if sometimes that's really happy and sometimes really sad. It's really nice to not have to worry for once. Really, 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 really. To know that the other person will be okay no matter how you are. And that they'll be okay with you. You know what I mean? Uh... I honestly haven't. Well, don't worry. I know that someday you will if that's what you want. I know it can be hard. I know that what it's like to feel really alone. And like things will never get better. But if you just keep going, they will. You just have to be kind to everyone and be yourself. So stay strong, okay? Oh yeah, that strategy hasn't exactly been working so far, but whatever. Uh. Yeah, we were talking about that a lot. Obviously not as much this whole thing with Fuyuki. Especially since we're worried that Natsuki is a little bit in denial about it. Still though, Misita is kind of a problem for us. It's hard because she's so nice and so easy to get along with. But at the same time, she's very nosy. It's pretty clear she knows something is weird about the literature club. And she doesn't seem like she's going to give up on finding out what. The club isn't really sure what to do about it. Some of us just want to tell her the truth. MC isn't sure. But me and Yuri want to just be honest with her. Natsuki and Maga don't want her to know, though. I think mostly because they're worried about it being upsetting for her. I mean, like we were just talking about with Natsuki, it's a really traumatic experience. And it's hard to predict how people will react. Plus, I know Monica is worried about too many people finding out. She's worried that if too many people discover the truth, it'll spread out of control. And then things will get unpredictable. It's probably kind of messy for Monica if people know which, or that she's the one with control over the world. Or whoever the club president is at the time, I guess. Anyway, whatever we do, we'll have to have a plan for it and do it together, probably. Another reason why I need to have that really long, difficult talk with Monica. Ugh, really not looking forward to that still. Let's see, what time is it? Ugh, I still have plenty of time. Thanks for talking to me. It helps to have someone not involved in all this stuff to dump my thoughts on. Sorry for us, er, for using you as a vent outlet. <laughs> Hopefully you don't mind or resent me for it. Now I need to figure out what to do with all the spare time until it's time to go to class. Hmm. You know, MZ is always coming over here to wake me up and make sure I have a nice start to my day. Maybe I should go over there today and surprise him. It would probably help him feel better about my mental health too. I know he tries really hard not to worry about it so that I can avoid worrying about him worrying. But it would probably help him to see me up and about really early. What do you think? Ah, go surprise him. Yeah! I think he'll be really pleased to see me over there. Plus, I can tease him a little about being sleepy and slow to get up and stuff. You know, all the things he usually does to me. Should be fun. I'm going to head over there now. Maybe I'll see you there. Maybe I will. Hmm. See, see. Hmm. Huh. Wake up, MC! Ah! Sayori! Yes, MC, it is I, Sayori! I have come to awaken you! So, um, get up, sleepyhead! But I am up now. Oh, yes. So you are. Well, I was going to come in here and teach you about still being asleep. And all the things you usually do when you get up before me. But it turns out I'm not very good at it. You're doing great, Cinnamon Bun. I'm really glad to see you here. What are you doing up so early? I just got up early. 
I went to bed earlier yesterday, like I've been talking about. That's great. Yeah, and I just woke up and didn't feel like I needed to sleep anymore. So I got up, and then I looked at the clock and it was super early. So I ate breakfast, took a long shower. It was great. I'll bet. And now here you are. Yep, here I am in your bedroom. And with 15 minutes still to spare. Very interesting. Oh, well, not as much the er, not as much time as I'd like for what you're thinking of. I have to take a shower and stuff too. I should probably get started on that. Be with you in a minute, okay, bun? We can kiss soon. Hmm. We better. Uh, but not now. Not with you here. If you don't mind. I guess you probably have no control over it. Um, shoo! Go ahead, hell, even if it's someone else's game. Mostly because I don't remember the commands off the top of my head. Oh, phew, it's leaving. See you later. Time to head up for some time alone on the roof. Everything's been so dramatic lately. I should spend some time looking inward. My friends don't really rely on me for too much support in times like these. But to the extent they do, I want to be prepared and available. So I must be content with the self first. Ah, perfect. Almost no one here. Just a few of the usual other introverts that are up here. And... Natsuki? She's never up here. Gosh, she's just looking out at the city through the fence. She looks really poetic like that. She's probably still upset about her sister. Maybe I could help. I wonder if she wants to talk about it, though. I should check, just in case. Uh, um, Natsuki? Yuri, hi! Yes! What is it? Oh, it's just, um... You're not usually up here on the roof. And I know things have been really hard for you the past week. What with all this stuff with your sister? And I don't know if you want to talk about it or not. But I'm here for you if you are. I... I don't want to talk about that right now. That's okay, Natsuki. We don't have to. I'll be available to talk about it whenever you want to. I'll just be over there giving you your space and, um... I want to talk about something else. Um, okay. What do you want to talk about exactly? What I do want to talk about, Yuri... Is our next secret operation! Oh dear. The last one did not go very well. <sighs> the last one went perfectly! But, um... Ah, tell me this, Yuri. Are Sayori and Amsi together, or are they not? They are. And therefore, the plan was successful. Uh, of course. So, what's your next plan? An extremely cunning and covert one, doubtless. Of course! So the student council has been messing with our business. I like Messina, okay, but I liked the club better back when the way it was before. Back when it was just Monica running things, as weird as that is to say. And I want things to come back to being like this. So we're going to break into the student council room. Wait, seriously? That seems like a terrible idea. It's scary and could result in a lot of trouble. First of all, even if we did break in successfully, what would we even do? It's not like we can just check off some piece of art paperwork and make them magically undo their decision that way. Man, I don't know. But I know we'll find something. Something we can use to convince them or use as leverage. Blackmail, you mean? Well, no, nothing mean like that. Unless we really had to. But, like, there's gotta be something we can use, you know? This plan seems about as well thought out as the last one. Aw, Yuri, come on! I really miss how the club used to be. When people would just leave us alone and let us do our thing. And we didn't have to worry about a teacher breathing down our necks. Even a nice one. It was just private and safe and comfortable. You know? Don't you miss that? I mean, yes, I do. I'm just not very confident that your plant will restore that to us. But even supposing that I approved of this, you said the word we when you mentioned the idea. Does that make you want me to take part in this? Well, yeah, of course. You're a critical part of the plan. What on earth do I contribute in your mind to a plan such as this one? Well, um... I, uh, 
think it contributed greatly in the area of, um, stealthiness. Stealthiness? Me? But you're the small, sneaky one. Surely I, with my greater height and awkward mannerisms, would stand out a lot compared to you. What could I possibly have to offer? Oh, you're here naturally stealthy. It's just your purple hair. I said, what could I possibly have to... I heard you the first time! You're sneakier than I am! What was that? <clears throat> I'm not quite sure I understood you correctly the first time. I said you're sneakier than I am! Plus, you're right, this is kind of a little scary. But I still want to do it, even though it's scary. So I need to confront the scariness. And I would feel better about it if you were there. That would make it less scary. Yuri? I, um, we could, could, that is to say, I, I'll do it. Awesome! So here's what I'm thinking. Huh. Okay, here goes nothing. Hey, Monica. Hello, Sayori. Monica, I, um, we should talk. Well, sure, Sayori, of course. Look, Sayori, I'm really sorry about... Oh, Monica, I wanted to say I'm sorry. I was mean and horrible, you. I should not have been like that. I'm sorry. Let me explain. Oh, Sayori, you can explain if you really want to. But you do not need to. Not to me. You're struggling with a really serious problem, Sayori. And I understand. It's hard to care about yourself for the first time, and that's okay. Yeah, exactly. I realized they'd never really dealt with how I felt about what happened to me in the original game, and that's why I lashed out. But how did you know that? Well, I'm not too bad about figuring things out, especially about you. I think I know you better than you might think. Plus, MC talks to me sometimes. He doesn't like to talk much about your mental state because he's very protective, but he says enough for me to put two and two together. But Sayori, what I'm trying to say is this. You have absolutely nothing to apologize to me for. I owe you the apologies. And as I said before, I'm extremely sorry for what I did. I always will be. And if there's anything I can do to help you, you let me know. If you think there's more you need to explain to me beyond that, though, please do say. I, I don't know. I was so mean to you. I kind of thought we'd have to have a long, serious, intense talk about things. Because what I did was so bad. And your feelings were really hurt. Well, like I said, we could if you really want to. But as far as I'm concerned, we're fine that you owe me no explanations or apologies. So, talk if you need to. But ultimately, we could just go to the cafeteria and I could get you ice cream. And then we could talk about happy stuff there. That's, that's genius! Could it really be so simple? It can if you want. I do! Sarah runs over and gives Monica a big hug. Come on, let's go. Thanks for being such a good friend, Monica. Oh, Sayori, thank you. You want to do another sleepover tonight? And celebration of things not being weird anymore? Well, I have therapy. But after that, yeah. Awesome. I can come pick you up if you want. So we're good to go on the mod? Yes, I think so. At least in terms of actually making it. Watching it in advance without Miss Ida is actually the hard part. Yeah, where is everyone? We're kind of on a time limit here, aren't we? We are. Yay, MC, come on! This is gonna be fun! You seem bright and chipper today, even more than usual. Monica got me ice cream! And we're okay now. No more fighting or being me being mad. Or maybe I will get mad and maybe she will too sometimes, but it will be okay because we're friends. Something like that. Sounds like you worked out your issues in a healthy way. Oh, uh, well, yeah, we worked it out with ice cream. Ice cream never fails. It certainly doesn't. Especially not when you're involved, Siri. Did we get the model set up, Yuri? 
We sure did. It's ready to go. Good! I'm going to Dax Natsuki. She needs to get here soon before Miss Dana comes to her club time. Sorry I'm late. That's all right, Natsuki. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Ah, seriously, I'm fine. I, I'd just rather not be sad all the time, okay? I'll be fine today, I promise. Let's just do fun stuff. Let's get rolling with your mod, MC. All right, but I warn you, it's very cursed. Pretty sure we all made somewhat cursed mods this semester. Mine even has cursed in the title. Anyway, let's get started on MC's mod. Remember not to talk during it, or the game will get confused about whether we're speaking or the mod characters are speaking. And then Hallie will be confused, and we don't want that. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> 